Hello folks and thank you so much for clicking on this video by EPV Media YouTube channel. For the past two weeks or so, we've been interacting with Mr. Isaac Atta. This is a young man whose highest education was um, a junior secondary school level certificate. But because of the training he had, the TVET training he had as a metal fabricator, today he's doing amazingly well for himself, employs a lot of people and roles and does jobs for the top business executives and celebrities in Ghana. He's the envy of a lot of businesses because of the simple TVET skill acquisition that he was smart enough to acquire. Today, he's telling us about why there is no way that he will ever work in an office that is in a formal setting or be employed by anybody and be paid monthly salary. Why? Let's go and listen to his reason why. But before we do that, please subscribe to this channel if you already haven't done so. As a channel that advocates TVET education and skills acquisition, there's so much amazing stuff we have for you about how you can start something on your own. There's so much out there that you have no idea of and we're going to bring as many of those things that we can lay hands on so that you know what to do with the little knowledge you can have in TVET education and skills acquisition. Just click on the red subscription button below at the corner there. Click on the notification bell and that's it. You will get immediate notification of any future videos that we upload. So now let's go and listen to Mr. Isaac Atta as he tells us why there's no way he will ever work in an office. <laughs> Amazing. Let's go listen to him now. Comparing what you are doing now to being employed in the office, which one would you prefer? Even if, if you get an office job, that will pay you how much you earn now and what you are doing now. Which one will you prefer? Oh, there's no way that I can be convinced to work at an office. <laughs> First of all, the payment terms. Secondly, that's not even my third. And I always fail to express myself in technical more than Okay. For the people, so yes. So what if it's a technical company they want to employ you and be giving you this thing, compared to due to what I earn by the end of the month, due to the people depending on me, I think it will be very difficult for me to work on the company. Wow. Mm. Then you must be any good money here. <laughs> oh by this if things are okay at least maximum of maybe thirty thousand or twenty five thousand in a month, I think. Profit? Uh, yes. Wow. I do get that maybe roughly every month, yes. Wow. Man, that things are okay. I see. So what are some of the things that you've been able to achieve because of uh, metal fabrication? Mm, by the grace of God, I think I have some maybe. <laughs> yeah. I mostly don't do this. Okay, all right. Okay, then we'll, yes. we'll, skip, we'll skip the understanding. By God's grace, yes. Okay. Me, I, I believe in living good among all those people closer to you than you achieving a lot. Mm, yeah. Initially, okay. if not because of how much I pay my workers, then I can say by now I've gotten far. Right. Yes. If not because of how much I pay my workers at all, because I always wanted my workers to be okay. By now, I've gotten far. So, I believe in we all the team being comfort than my own. Or I being comfort, or I being okay alone. Yes. That's okay for you. Right. Yeah, by God's grace, we have done a lot. Right. Yes. Right. And I mostly prefer or believe in supporting church activities because my church at Akuma, when I was learning, they helped me a lot. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So what are some of the problems that you, you people in the informal sector in this thing face that you think if anybody has to help you, what, what, what help do you need? What are the problems that you face? Initially, due to the land's problem from Emmanuel I came to here, I can say on this land I've spent so far about $185,000. What? Yes. By summoning it, I mean the money being given to land guys, and staffs are not among. I spent about $185,000. It's a good work, very, very good work if you, had, if you have a support 
someone to support you a huge amount of money behind you. Okay. Yes. It's capital intensive, eh? Very. Okay. Are you ordering few things that I think will make your work to be a perfect standard? Okay. As you ask me, there's a machine called laser cut. And yeah. there's a machine called powder coating. With the powder coating, when you put the gate in, you spray through the powder coating, you will never know it's a local made gate. Mm. Yes. So, when you have capital, I think... And that machine is how much? It's about 800,000 Ghana cities. 8 billion OC? Yes. It's laser cut. You can cut everything. Wow. Yes. Okay, so I guess the support you people will need is the funding. Cheap capital or funding for you to acquire some of these uh, capital intensive machines and stuff like that or access okay. to funds or i mostly don't believe in someone helping me but i'm not doing anything for the person and the person will just decide to give me money, money. yes i'm not a fan of receiving right i mostly my border is aware i don't it's hardly for me to accept a gift okay yes because for me the lord has helped me for the little that i can eat I think twice I'm not lazy, by the end of every day I can get it, so that means someone needs it more than me. Okay. The reason being that is, I might prefer, if someone might even gain an interest in my work, and you help me with huge contracts for me to do that myself, than the, yeah, the person buying for me, and that can know, I don't believe in that. Okay. Yes. So, for those sitting at home watching, you know, what advice will you give the young men and women there? sitting at home watching you, what kind of advice will you give them based on your experience? There's nothing on the silver platter. I was living in a wooden structure. I was able, able to buy a land at Oya I did my first three bedroom house. I was still living in the wooden structure. Until I was able to give the place out for rent before. I went and rented a single room. People think, I have a spiritual background, which African we say, yeah. occultism and that kind of. Mm -hmm. What has helped me much in life? I don't see myself to be a special person. God is a helper who can make one's way easy. Mm -hmm. Some people have gone through struggling and talk more than me, or some people have been a hard worker, even more than me, whereby maybe they have not gotten to where I've gotten to. So, I didn't take my God as a joke. Anything that you won't be able to do or anything that you have to do today and you won't be able to do it, today will never come again. So I believe in doing whatever I have to do today whereby I will not going to have any problem of that tomorrow. Right, right. Yes, and it's better to work hard for you to achieve the little things that will make you okay. And the Lord watches over everything that you do. So what I would advise young guys, I think it's better to find something doing than to be dependent on someone. Yes. Right. Okay. You seem to have some unique plan for this. Can you tell us what, what plans you have for this? I can see some uncompleted things there. I can see some structure here. Can you tell us what the plan is? So that when you come back next time. <laughs> My plan was to put that, that, that store down, the uncompleted, so my plan was to put it down. I used one as my office, some to one portion to display most of my things, and the other sectors to I'll give it up to rent. Yeah. That was my plan. Okay, so those are stores. Yes. Okay. That's what you are developing. Yes. Okay. And this 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 side. This side is my central office, and the other sections are for my work. But before, because I've come to realize there are many. I've decided to make a nice structure in addiction for them so that each and every one will get a comfortable place to be in this place. Okay. And this place? This place, this becoming my main company. I'm going to roof it. I will, I'll fence around it or I'll cover all the angles, do roller shutters are from. So initially when you come this time we are on fabrication, you, are, you will not see whatever we are producing until we bring it out. For a display before. Oh, okay. Yes. So it's maybe like um, an enclosed factory. Yeah, an enclosed factory. Yes. Everything is yes. done inside. Here is going to be the production side. Wow. I'm really impressed with this. Thank you very much. Right. Mm -hmm. so what do you think the government can do to make technical work attractive? Mm -hmm. 
I always say to myself, if not because of how much I've spent on land and stuff, and I'm a partial victim of men's good as well. <laughs> that's, by <the> way. <laughs> that's, by, that's by the way, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, really? by the way, it doesn't pay me much. <laughs> Honestly speaking, I was able to benefit for like five months. So oh, before yes, you went bust. Yes. So <laughs> I always have a dream. Like when the Lord bless me, I will establish a company that maybe I will let the government gain an interest of putting this name or to name it like maybe one district, one factory, metaverse or something. Okay. That's my dream. Okay. And I have a huge plan. A big land on Dodua Road, whereby I've signed that plan, but it's all about money. So I'm working right. hard, I'm looking at God for His help. Wow, wow, wow. I'm impressed, Mr. Atta. Thank you very That's much. That's good work. Is yeah. there anything else you'd like to say about your company, about your experiences that I haven't asked you? Honestly speaking with you, it's a privilege. Am I like, first of all, to say sorry to you? Most of my clients, the reason why is when I had that problem at the Manuel Eye Clinic, I spent about 180,000 Ghana CDs. I came here to, so far, I spent about $185,000. Wow. I have a little amount of good as well. So <laughs> it cost all my spent away. So okay. it got to a point, the fastest time that I can produce my work was not going into. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so it's just a great privilege for me to say sorry to anyone that I've heard by the lane of my production. Okay. Yeah. That's what I can say. Okay. Your men's good distance, how much did you lose in men's good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have six hundred and something thousand Ghana CDs. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> and for me, I don't have much problem on that. I know the man one and one. And I know when the law helps me, I'll be among one of the first people to pray. Mm. I always say a prayer for him. Right. Yes. Right. I saw he was a young forceful man, so I learned a lot from him. Mm. Wow. Yes. And uh, we also pray that you and all the other people who have the amount, yeah, your yeah, money yes. lo locked up there will have... The best option is to say prayer for him to get his money. The money and then pay you back. We receive our part, yes. I don't think anyone will open a company whereby he will sit down for the company just to collapse in a day. Right. It's because of circumstances. So right. I was also almost affected by the same problem, but mm. by God's will, he hurt me out. So I think... The Lord will one day make happen. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Asa. Okay. Thank you very thank much. You, much. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a nice week, and I'll see you very soon.